Hello, today I will show you the material I've made in Blender for this 3D real-time hair. It's fully customizable, you can choose different colors, gradients, highlights here. You can achieve different results with that, something like this. Basically, the material looks like this. It's a big node group combined in this way. We have different options for colors, different combinations, gradients here. I divided them in three main sections, base controls, gradients and additional controls. Let's start with roughness. It's pretty straightforward, you just tweak it up or down to achieve the result you need for your hair. To choose prime and second color, we go to this color wheels and pick the color. Let's stick with these two colors for this hairstyle. For adjusting the opacity of the second color, we use this slider. Then we can also change the balance amount. The higher value of the balance, the more of the second color we can see. Let's be somewhere, somewhere in the middle. Seed value generates random flow of the hair strand. When we change it, we get different patterns. Let's choose let's choose this one. Then we can make strands more narrow or wider. If you, we go all the way down up to three or one the strands would be very wide, like this. But if we go a little bit higher, we can see them more like individually here, and even more higher, there would be a lot of strands here, and we can easily distinguish between them. We can also use location slider to adjust the location of the strands, fine tune that. Yeah, and that's basically it. You can play with size, with seed, with balance. And just go here, and it's it differs a lot, and we just tweak the balance. Feel free to experiment with that with the sliders to get the result you really want. Now let's use our gradients. Um, we can start with first gradient here. There are three of them. First gradient, second and the top gradient. The top gradient comes from the roots of the hair. And this first and the second gradient comes from the bottom of your hairstyle. Okay, so let's pick up the color. Maybe maybe something like this. Or like pinkish. So we go here with opacity, then we can adjust heights of the gradient and also there is smoothness. So the lesser value is here, the more straight it is. The more value we put here on smoothness, so the better it blends with your hair. Okay, and the same is for the second color. We pick up the color. Then we use our opacity, then heights, and then smoothness. 
we can experiment with different colors for example we can use this color it may be more red color here just you can change them very very quickly and then we have our top gradient for example you want the roots of the hair to be more dark so you go you go here pick up the dark color use opacity slider then heights and also you can use smoothness here let's do it like this yeah so you have a dark hair over here near the roots and then you have your base colors base prime and second color then you have your gradient yeah and that's basically it you just play with that change colors try different ones like this here is our additional section it starts from highlight color over here and ends with the hue so let's start with highlights basically uh, you need to choose highlights color like like choose this one and put the highlights opacity all the way up to see it better you just add interesting stylized colors here uh, and you can play with that you can make it more subtle like this to get some interesting results you can change the hue of it but i prefer it to be this more pinkish color for this one and we have also an option to color the tips of our hair like this we can choose the color of the hair tips then we go way up to the opacity to see it better and we can adjust the height it's almost the same as the gradient smoothness but if you go with smoothness very high it can it can color like your hair but sometimes you want this result sometimes you you not so it's better to keep it lower like that and yeah and that's it for the hair tips you can combine it with the gradient for example you have this red pinkish color here you put this color here and go way up with your gradient and you have like this big gradient over here combined with hair tips opacity and you also have some of the color here on the shorter hair on the front and you can experiment with that freely uh, i use this for this hair so here you can see black tips and you can see this main black gradient over here so sometimes you need that because it will differ if we go like this this is more interesting okay and the last is hue of the hair you can play with this slider and just see what color works best for you maybe you come up with some ideas you haven't thought about before and we can change our colors like this and then we can play with the hue so it doesn't apply the same color through all the hair it changes the hue of the gradient of the base colors of your highlights everything it just changes the hue you can just tweak all of this and experiment with that to get your own interesting hairstyles with this custom material
if you want something more simple to control the gradient on your hair you, you just want for example to go from one color to another and that's it i have this simple gradient option over here you can choose that one and use this color ramp to make your gradient you can tweak it the way you want you can add some colors you can change colors like this and you have full control with this color ramp on your gradient you can add even more colors if you need for some reason but it's better to keep it three colors like this then you have your brightness contrast and roughness options here you can adjust brightness of the colors contrast of them roughness of the hair and also you can change the hue you can experiment with that here and that's it for this simple gradient you also have this other option if you just want to use your image texture you have this node group that also do like brightness contrast of the hair and you can also tweak roughness over here you have the option to change the hue of the hair if you want to so you can make adjustments very easily very fast you can try different textures from your folder i have dark texture and i also have color texture it's like gradient from this more greenish color to this purple we can play with hue here because we have colors so maybe we can achieve some interesting results like this yeah. then that's it for these controls so you have three main types of material custom hair simple gradient and just image texture over here okay thank you for watching hope you like this material feel free to experiment with that come up with a bunch of new ideas hope you will get some interesting and stunning results